now let's create an action for the each and every element and then let's test now come to object studio we have created all the elements here and then let's test one by one we'll create actions first we need to what we need to do we need to launch right let me close and then rename launch application right okay now to launch we are going to use navigate shape give the link main element always we will use to launch your application launch and then click ok let's test this whether it is launching the application or not yes it is launching the application good now so it is taking some time right so let's use a wait here always remember when we are working with any application the best practice is always use wait shape in when you are launching your application you can give some default seconds 10 seconds if you want dynamically also you can use it's up to you okay launch is done next what is the action we need to do amount right amount amount what we are performing we are writing we are entering the amount so write this one amount right for the testing purpose let's give some value so double six double six 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 okay click okay let's run and then test it entered see this entered the value here so three double triple six double six and it's working now come to the next one after the amount input input value input currency format again it is a right so use the same thing double click on this input and what about the value value we can give for the testing i will give gbp okay gbp we have given reset and then run observe this enter gbp right next same thing right instead of doing again i will duplicate it this is for output again next one also write only come here output and then we are going to give it into inr okay this is inr now let's test this now come here inr entered after that we need to click on the convert button that is click so we have to use action navigate convert click navigate shape double click on this convert button and click center then click ok convert button just we are going to click now let's test this run then observe see this it clicked and then we got the result now we need to capture the result so we have to use read action new result result which one we have to use read shape double click on this and this is the result coming to here get current value and then the result will store into this particular data item let's run this one and observe we are going to get the result this result is a output right this result we need to see that in our process so what we need to do we need to create it as a output parameter this is the result so let's create output parameter this is result and then this one we have created output parameter later we will see so what is the purpose of this after that what is the next one 
terminate this one this is a default one terminate for the terminate we are going to use another action now what we have done we have created all the actions for each and every element and then wherever it is required we can use weight shape and then when you click on this it is going to close that application see this now we created all these actions then what is the next step we need to publish once we have published all these actions you can able to use that in your process studio the next session we will see how to use this each and every action in your process studio and then how to create a process for this currency converter application